Welcome to this video from ashcarmel.org. Inside this video, we'll discuss about homemade gold panning machine. Building your own gold panning equipment can be a great way for beginners and advanced users alike to learn all about how gold works and it carries its financial advantages as well. You can build the same equipment using to pan for literally hundreds of dollars less than what you would pay for at a specialty shop. The materials needed to build your own homemade gold panning machine can all be found at your local hardware store usually. The first step is getting a panning tub that should be relatively easy. Any moderately sized tub can be used. Hardware stores carry various heavy plastic containers for cheap. The second step is to putting together a sluice box which will require long pieces of metal for proper water flow. Constructing a sluice box out of wood is not recommended as they are much more cumbersome and heavy after absorbing water from the stream. You can jerry rig an air conditioning duct for the perfect length and width. Then you will need to find a metal mesh to act as trap on the bottom. Alternatively, you can place a piece of carpet or buy miner's moss that will catch very fine gold deposits that would normally be washed away. Lastly, you will need to create metal dividers or rifles for the water to flow over the proper levels. The water should be no more than an inch deep when placed in a stream so the depth of the box does not have to be more than 2 to 3 inches. It is recommended that your rifles are easy to remove for cleanup. You can simply install thin plates of metal held by rails on the inside of the box that are held in place by a few bolts that can be unscrewed at the end of your panning. Third step, you're going to want to build a gold rocker for your homemade gold panning machine as well if you want to cover areas further away from the stream where there is lower water levels. These rockers shift back and forth and sort out the gold for prospectors. They usually are no bigger than 4 feet long and sit on the beginning portion of your sluice box mounted using half circle pieces of wood. A screen is placed on one end and water is poured from the opening at the top. The design is fairly simple, gravity and inertia take care of the work for you. When looking at designs for building your homemade gold panning machine, simpler is better. The best commercially built gold panning equipment follow a basic design and are subsequently easier to maintain. Time is money and building a reliable homemade gold panning machine will give you lots of that and of course gold. If you're watching the video version of this presentation on making a homemade gold panning machine, Please click the link below the video to learn more.